this is Sosa and I am an elementary art teacher. I teach kindergarten through second grade and today I'd like to share with you how to create these beautiful marbled papers using things that you have around your house. It's simple, easy, and inexpensive to create. Watch this video now, give it a try for yourself, and join us on our adventure. To create your marbled paper, you're going to need the following supplies, shaving cream, food dye, this is the same dye that I use to tint my frosting, pencils to draw and stir in the shaving cream, any size paper that will fit within your containers, and it can either be a plate or a casserole dish or a cookie sheet, whatever you have available. The next step is to spread the bottom of your container with shaving cream. You can even use a spatula to smooth it out, but it's not necessary. And here my kids are adding dots of food dye all over the surface of the shaving cream. You don't need a lot of dots, so just put dots sporadically throughout your shaving cream. Once you're done putting the dots of color on, then you can take your pencil and just zigzag back and forth up and down, or you could even create other patterns. But what we don't want to do is over blend the colors. If you start to mix all the colors together, we will have an ugly brown color that will transfer to our paper. All right, and we're just going to set I've it on top. I've seen this before. And we're going to press it down. Print. In a commercial print? Yeah, she was like, Making this thing, in, but it was paint, and like she took it and it I'm gonna go for a catnip if you don't want to. No, you need to do one of these. Okay, so now when we pull it out, we're gonna drag it along the edge of the tray when we pull it out so that we get all of the shaving cream off. So we're gonna mm -hmm. grab the edge. Whoa. Okay, see how it's covered in shaving cream? So we're going to take it and we're going to pull it along the edge. My teacher's going to love this. So if you look at it. I said it's so Alright, so let's try it again. Grab one of those papers, David. You can actually put it on top. But let's do this first. Take a pencil and draw a new line in it. You know what that is, David? Ooh, it looks like a spider web. Okay, so Great Britain! Put this on. Hey, awesome Britain! Was you gonna, actually, wait, that was not it. You know, Britain, Britain has the greatest navy ever known to man. Can we do another one? David, mm -hmm. Britain was known to have the best navy ever known to man. How about right there? In between that big pizza pie. There we go. All right. You ready? You put it on. You put it on top, and then you're going to press it down. Not too hard. Press the corners. All right, so now when you take it off, we're going to drag it along the edge. I don't know how it's Pick up the corners. It's okay if your fingers get shaving cream on them. No, I'm worried about oh. getting the dye on me. So we're going to drag it along the edge. I have a sad story to tell you. Okay. So Did now, I... wait. So what we can do is we can take a paper towel now. If you are concerned about your workspace, I would suggest laying down some newspapers or plastic table cover, anything to protect your, especially white counters. But surprisingly, the food dye mixed with the shaving cream didn't really stain my counters. Now, if you're concerned about your hands, that's another thing. The dye will stick to your hands, but it's only temporary. 
Now you'll notice that our shaving cream has turned green from the boys mixing all of those colors together. And then when they add their dots, the paper does turn green as the background, but we still see the colors on top. If you decide to use a paper plate instead of a container, like the casserole dish I used, you will have difficulty scraping along the edge to get that shaving cream off. So you'll have to use more paper towels to wipe off that shaving cream. Now if you do overmix the colors like my son did on this example, you will notice that you will not see a marbled effect on the paper. Cleanup is really easy with soap and water, or if the color does stick to your countertop, you can use a magic eraser. Those work great as well. These fancy papers can be used for notes or cards or special messages to a friend. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you have fun creating and please come back again to make more art with me.